Hello people. Okay, just quickly going to show you how to do um, instancing and we're going to try and scatter as well just quickly. Alright, so I've got a little paint effects tree which um, has just got one shader on it because currently this instancing uh, doesn't work with assigning two shaders. Um, it's in production at the moment, it's being worked on. Um, so yeah unfortunately it doesn't work at the moment um, but I can show you how to instance anyway um, <clears throat> alright so we've got a tree here which um, I have dragged in to the Bifrost viewport here it is that's the tree and we've got the plane as well which literally is just a terrible bit of geometry and I've just pulled some verts up all right um, so first of all let's get a um, uh set instance hello let's just start typing in instance um set instance geometry there we go we've got so we're just dragging the um instances into the instance geometries and the points into the points and then we're going to stick our instances into the instances and we get instances based on the um, vert, vertex positions uh, of this plane and we can indeed grab um, vertices still move it around and our trees follow which opens up quite a few interesting uh, situations for us so they will always follow um, which is very nice and we can see that we are shifted around this scene no problem whatsoever um, so, but obviously everything's a bit uniform at the moment, and so we want to stick in something to scatter them. And you can do that by using the scatter node, which comes from the Rebel pack. Um, a note on that, when you're trying to install the Rebel pack, Autodesk is saying that you install it into a Bifrost Compounds path. Um, so it would be like C, Users, Autodesk, Bifrost, Compounds. That doesn't exist until you publish your first compound. Um, and to do that, you just kind of, I think, you just select all this. And, uh, I don't know, I think it's um, create compound. This little, uh, little dialog box will pop up somewhere. I don't know where mine's gone. No. Not sure what's happened there, actually. Let's just go create compound no. create I'll oh, publish publish sorry not create a compound not at all um, it's publish a graph so you go in here do some publishing uh, just just leave it all at defaults click publish really it's all, all it's for is to as soon as you click uh, create publish then the um, the you can see here c users fill autodesk bifrost compounds that folder gets created for you so then when you then then you can go in and grab different compounds from the autodesk website and chuck them into this um directory um and so for this you're going to need the rebel pack installed which is online on the autodesk website um so i'm just going to start typing scatter points and when it comes in, we can see that it's, uh, let's just delete that. That just happened automatically, that's pretty amazing. Um, we can see it's got an R on it for Rebel Pack. Um, so yeah, as Bifrost just automatically did, you just stick in geometry and then points out. And now we're scattered. Um, so, you know, we haven't got trees just sitting on the vertex points. Uh, so we'll just grab um, the scatter node and have a look in the attributes. We can add like a thousand trees. Um, and it's randomly placing them. Obviously, we can use different seeds, get them moving about in different ways, and there's you know other um, other options in there. Um, maybe we can stick that up to about five thousand. Get a whole bunch of trees in there. It does slow down a little bit, but I mean it's not not how it should slow down. Um, and then obviously, I've got um, an assigned material node set up down here with. Uh, a, AI standard surface um, and you can just plug that into the uh, instances there and then drag that into the geometry there and then we should be able to render it 
which is extremely fast, as you would imagine, because it's uh, instances. But if he was trying to render this without instances, well, good luck. It just wouldn't wouldn't happen so well for you, I don't imagine. So just give this a second load up, and there we go. It's, uh, it's rendering, which is nice. Um, so yeah, obviously, as I said at the moment, there the um, you, you, you can't use textures. I don't think you can use textures. And you certainly can't use two materials at a time, which um, is kind of annoying at the moment. But this is all still early, early, early. Um, you know, we're pretty much still in beta stage with this. Um, other things, I was actually uh, chatting to some uh, or a couple of the Bifrost um, developers and all of these guys on one of the forums. Um, just sort of showing my paranoia about where you know what's happening with Maya, what's what's Bifrost all about, you know what, what's going to happen, and they basically just came on and reassured me that um, it's Bifrost and Maya are a big thing. They're going to be a big thing, and um, just watch out for more updates because it's going to get uh, pretty sick pretty quickly. And more importantly, it's going to get more intuitive for artists and creatives. So there's not gonna, you're not going to need. Um, a PhD in maths and computer programming. Um, they're going to make it artist friendly, just like Maya is. Um, but also, if you want to dig down and create some mental type um, setups and nodes, and you maybe you want to create your own UI as well, all of that is going to be available. Um, and, and it's not just going to be a whole bunch of presets in the Bifrost browser. Um, they, they're not going to tackle it like that. There might be some more, but they're going to give you the tools and intuitive tools uh, of how to create. Um, things a lot simpler and a lot more easy so anyway uh, sort of go forth and do all the scattering you want now um again being as this is um procedural non-destructive workflow we can indeed just get rid of this node and stick a cylinder in there and drag that in there and that is now our instance geometry um albeit a bit crazy so yeah, not nice and easy, a lot quicker than mesh and anything like that. I mean, it's really, really fast. Um, other things are at the moment, I'm personally struggling to get more than one instance working at a time at the moment. I've looked at the workflow. I've uh, done the workflow that they mentioned. This is actually offset, which is weird. Um, that is because I used, I moved the biff earlier, actually. Good point. Um, anyway, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, they. Um, I'm struggling to do more than two objects at a time. Uh, if I drag in another one here um, and stick that in there, I don't get extra cubes. Um, there was talk about setting up an array, so get points, store them in an array. Um, didn't work either. And also there were other set mesh options which didn't work for me either uh, set set geo, geo property all, all sorts but it just didn't didn't work for me um but for now if you want to just go and play with this as is um go for it nice one cheers see you later